I wanted to share with you guys a altered box I did for the altered cigar box swap over at Creating the Crafty Life, and this was the one that was for April. Our theme was flowers, and our color challenge was a light green and white. So we had to use those two colors, um, and you can use whatever else colors you want, but you had to use those two, and they had to be like the main colors and stand out. And so, um, my accent color is actually, like, um, some different, like, um, salmon, um, peachy type of colors. And, um, so what I started with was a unfinished wood cigar box that you can get at Michael's. That's where I got mine. And it was only $4.99. And it's about an 8x8 eight eight box. And about, I don't know, about an inch and a half high. It's not very high. You know, because it's, you know, a cigar box. And so, um, I started off by painting it, and I just combined some different, um, acrylic paint I had. I kept, um, uh, making it lighter. Just some, um, you know, just some different paint. And I did a little trick, and, um, which is really easy. Anybody can do it. And what I did is, as you know, gesso, and it's, um, really, really easy. Let me grab it real quick. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's uh, uh, mine I get from, it's by Golden. And it's just so, and it's a really nice, like, acrylic medium for, um, kind of like a primer. It's It comes in, I believe, black and white. And it's just really nice. Um, it works better than acrylic, regular acrylic paint when you're covering, um, surfaces like unfinished wood, especially large surfaces. And so I always use this, but this time... I actually tinted mine with acrylic paint, you know, um, just simple like the 50 cent acrylic paint that you can get at Michaels. I believe it's the Craft Smart brand. And um, what I did is I, you know, made this my base, and then I added a little bit of the green um, acrylic paint. I used the light green so I wouldn't have to, or you can use the darker green. You can add just a little bit. And I just kept, um, you know, mixing it until I got the color I wanted. And it came to be out this, like, light, minty color. And I don't know how well the camera is picking up the color. Let's do this side again. So it's this light, minty color. And then I did go over it with um, matte Mod Podge all over the entire box. And I also distressed the edges with the Walnut Ink Distress Ink. Really, really like that. And then um, for the top, I chose this um, really pretty white paper. And the white paper actually is embossed. The entire sheet is. And it is embossed with this pretty like floral pattern. And then I, so I just took the um, ink over all the raised um, edges, all the raised pattern, just for it to stand out. And then I um, heavily distressed the edge just with my uh, Tim Holtz, the little Tim Holtz distress tool. And then I also took my finger... Once I had adhered it down, and just to give it more distressing, I flipped up the corners a little bit. Um, and then, let's see here. The second thing I did is I added this really pretty lace, and it's the um, snowy ornate um, scalloped lace that I carry in my shop. And it's just really pretty, and it has a little slight shimmer to it. You can sort of see it there. And then I decided that I had to use a Michaels frame on here, the $1 Michaels frame. I just love these frames. So um, that's what I started out with. I took, um, it was actually black. I didn't have this shape. I wanted this shape, but I didn't have it in white. So I actually just painted it with um, gesso. And um, it's just white gesso. And then I took, um, I believe, I'm not sure the name of the ink, but then I took the peeled paint distressed ink and I actually just took it over the top the raised edges I don't know if you can tell that it's green but it matches the box perfectly and for the image back here I'm not sure um, I think it's called the innocent um, stamp collection by MFT I think and I got this in an image swap so I'm not you know, sure which stamp, and I really, really like it. I would have never have, you know, went for these stamps before, but I think I'm definitely going to have to get some more, um, because I really, really like it. And I just used some different Copic coloring with that, and then I distressed around the image with the, um, I think the walnut ink, 
and then for and then the next thing I did is I did this um like flower arrangement here, these little sprays. And I started just with and it was there was no flowers. I made it all by hand and it was just with this um rustic wire. I also carry this in my shop and I carry it in brown and this is the moss green. And so it was just a plain rustic wire and then um and it's bendable. It's like I think 18 gauge wire, I think. And so it's really bendable and it's um, really easy to use. And then I just started adding all these I Am Roses flowers and they were all originally white. And so I painted them. And I'm going to go ahead and set this down now and zoom in. And just be a lot easier. Okay, so, oops, a little too close. There we go. So um, for this one here, this is a gardenia and it's the large gardenia. And I used the Cosm Cosmopolitan Pink um, Starburst Spray by Lindy Stamp Gang and I really really liked the way it came out and it was just a perfect color that I wanted and then for these two flowers on um, either side here I actually combined some different sprays and if you've never done this before you have to do it um, I know they have tons of colors but it's like a whole nother world when you start combining your colors and what I do is I just um, Pour out a little bit into like maybe one of those little like um, paint trays, you know, that just have like the little cups for your paint, or maybe on a little mat, depending on how much color you need. But I use the wild honeysuckle, which is actually, um, oops, which is actually this color here. It's slightly darker than the cosmopolitan pink. And then I also used, um, and don't hate on me guys, because I do love my glimmer mist too. And I combined it with uh, the chocolate covered cherries because it has this like brownish tint, but the um, it of course because it's chocolate covered cherries, it has like a reddish pink type of shimmer to it. And and so I combined the colors, and then I wanted to lighten it up just a little bit, so I added just a little bit of the ghostly gargoyle white um, starburst spray by Lindy Stamp Gang, and so it came out with this nice um, pretty color. Uh, if, I don't think it'll pick up on the shimmer, but um, it's just really, really pretty. And then I used um, I used the same thing here, but um, a little less of the color, so it's a little bit lighter. And then I used the same, the cosmopolitan pink on here. And then on the tips, I used um, the what I had left over from making up the the color combination for that, just on the tips. And then I added some of these uh, wheat sprays, acrylic wheat sprays you can find in my shop. And this one is the salmon color. And so I added it all throughout the spray. I added some of the little mini acrylic flowers in the clear. And then I put a brown one right here in the center. Uh, let's see here. And then I did the same thing on this side, all the way up the spray. Oh yeah, and then the last thing on the spray here are these... Um, paste calla lilies um, or some people call them porcelain calla lilies and uh, I just got these in my shop these are brand new so I'm really excited and so if they're not listed right now they'll be listed very soon and these are the small ones and I carry them in white and then this really pretty pink it's like a, a pale pink very very pretty and then um, I added this little sentiment here. I used um, one of my Spellbinders dies, and just I believe this was just a Studio G stamp, and it said Spring Joy, and I thought that was perfect because it's you know springy. And then I used the little um, Tim Holtz memo pin down here, and I distressed this edges um, with the peeled paint. Um, what is the antique linen? I went in on the inside so it wasn't like white white. And then I did the peeled paint, and then on and then on the very edge after doing the peeled paint, I also did some of the walnut ink to give it like different dimension. And then to finish it off, which really made it come together, I used the pearls. I'm gonna back up now again. I used the um, the pearls you can see all around here and down in here, and um, these are like the Prima pearls. I love these. And they normally come in like the white, and then they come in this really pretty pink color. And so I definitely wanted to use that. 
And then to accent it, I used um, this little itty bitty acrylic flower, and it's only a half inch. Look at it compared to my finger. It's so tiny. That is new to my shop, and that's available right now. And then I also used on this side here the small acrylic flowers, which is three quarters of an inch, and that's also available in my shop. So I really, really like that. Love the way the top came out. And then to finish it all off on the outside, I um, I added some of this lace that I just had in my stash, and it's a ruffled lace, and and then there's a there's some ribbon that goes through it too on the top, but I covered it with this um, uh, rosette and pearl trim, and it's like a salmony, it's a salmon type of color, a pinkish color, and I carry that in my shop too, and that was my actually my inspiration for all the accent colors that I used and what I painted everything because I just wanted to use this trim on this box so bad like as soon as I knew I was making this box that I knew that one was going to be on there and I love love the way it came out so it's all the way around and then that's how I did the hinge I actually had to remove just one of the one of the little flowers there to make room for the hinge and then on the inside sorry for guys for this video being so long but then on the inside, I painted the top part white, and then I finished it off with the mint pearl trim that I also carry all the way around, and it's the 4 millimeter. Ooh, it's not focusing. And then, I don't want to show you too much of this, because I don't want Adele to see this before she gets it, but um, that's I'll just wait to upload it until she gets it. But um, I painted it the, the pale green on this side, so the top part is white and accented with the green and then the bottom is just all green and then of course this is all the luscious flowers that are going to be that are in there so you can fit quite a bit of flowers in there even though it's you know not very high and so I filled all kinds of flower and it's just Risto flowers some flowers from my good friend um, Leslie she is scrap of art designs and I put some of her little um, fabric roses in here her felt roses um, there's just all kinds of stuff I got. Um, just tons of like uh, Prima and I Am Roses and Recollections. So she's got a really nice array of flowers going on in here. So I am so excited. I cannot wait for her to get it. And I hope you guys um, like my very first uh, Altered Cigar box. So I'm super excited and I'll definitely be doing more of these. So, um, you guys just tell me what you think down in the um, comment section below. Um, you guys have a wonderful day, and until next time, bye!